Bangladesh Supreme Court on Thursday upheld the death penalty of country's top Islamic Party leader, Mutiu Rahman Nizami. Nizami was convicted for committing atrocities during the country's 1971 liberation war from Pakistan. Bangladesh Supreme Court rejected the final plea to review the death penalty of the head of country's fundamentalist Jamaat-e Islami Party, Motiu Rahman Nizami. The four-member appellate division bench on Thursday pronounced the judgment with a single word, dismissed. So, Motiu Rahman Nizami got uh, death penalty for three charges and in this occasion, in the review petition which has been heard, the review was uh, on the issue of whether the death penalty would be restored or will be changed. But however, the appellate division in the review petition, they have rejected the petition. Therefore, the death penalty is uh, kept for Mr. Matthew Rama Nizami. Now it is time uh, for all of us to wait when the execution takes place. In 2014, Nizami was awarded death penalty by International Crimes Tribunal for genocide, rape and orchestrating the massacre of top intellectuals during Bangladesh's Liberation War of 1971. Prosecutors also claim that he was responsible for setting up Al-Badr, a pro-Pakistani militia during the war which killed top writers, doctors and journalists at the height of the conflict. Immediately after the verdict, the Jamaat-e Islami party issued a statement calling Nizami a victim of state-sponsored conspiracy and announced a day-long nationwide strike on May 8. Bangladesh, which was earlier known as East Pakistan, emerged as independent country in 1971 after fighting a nine-month-long civil war. The Pakistan army and its local collaborators like the Jamaat had unleashed large-scale violence during the period, resulting in the death of some 3 million people.